What's going on guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Nathan, aka Fearsome Rhino, and today we are giving you your guide to planting and American farming. Let's go ahead and get directly on into it, but before we go ahead and get into it, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not yet, please hit the like button for all the guides we do for American farming, and hit that subscribe button, I really do appreciate it so very much. Let's get on into everything. Now, of course, we have to go from smallest to biggest, what we're going to be doing is a little bit different. We normally do, there's only four implements, so we're just going to kind of show you how things go, and go over what their of course thing what everything does so this plant right here is not a mold so this plant right here is meant for your wheat and of course your soybeans which you need a special header for getting to that here in a second so how to engage this is simply just lowering it down and planting let's get out of here kind of take a good little look you can definitely see it's acting like a cedar um of course right now we're also planting wheat so what it's doing is it's doing a sporadic wheat plant like it should be and of course you can use this for more than just wheat let's go ahead and show you what else this can be used for if you hit this little button up here at the top with a little wheat symbol is you can also turn it into soybeans and also plant yourself some soybeans now this is one little detail that i personally would love to see is the sporadic beans you kind of can see them over there the beans don't really pop up too well that's um interesting let's go and get the details about the case international 5300 and of course here you have it sitting here your seed drill which of course plants wheat and beans so let's go and get the requirements requires 50 horsepower holds 50 bushels and of course it goes six miles an hour with a low price tag of fourteen thousand dollars so if you want to get into wheat and you want to get all that stuff this is definitely what's meant for you before we keep going this right here is some information you need to know about the wheat soybeans or something like that of course we'll start with the wheat if for the wheat if you add nitrogen you get 50 percent increase in the yield and if you add mpk you get 25 percent increase in yield for soybeans if you add nitrogen you get no yield but it does stay on the field so don't be scared if you put nitrogen on by mistake it does still stay on the field then mpk of course get 25 percent baseline and the mpk of course if you put it down does apply for two years corn you of course get your 50 percent with your nitrogen and then your 25 percent with your mpk again stays for two years like the other and then of course your corn nitrogen only stays for one year again ladies and gentlemen i highly recommend this primary tillage if you want good yields and you have the money to do it in the game do it primary tillage if not do the secondary tillage because you will not lose five percent you will gain five percent so basically there's no neutral between it it's basically you lose five percent or you gain five percent there's no zero in between those so i recommend at least just gaining that five percent because it levels you out a little bit more easily now on to the next cedar this will be your next cedar right here and this is of course your landau cedar ah i love this thing i love the way it's been modeled again you just don't see a whole lot of this type of equipment but let's just kind of get up here and see what she's capable of now there is a bit of a difference between this one and that one over there this is a multi-step how to do this one is you simply hit the little unfold button there and then right next to it after it's unfolded you hit the lower button and you get up to speed now of course with this one looks like you can go a little bit faster we'll kind of get out of here for a second and take a look at the job she's done doing a superb job and as you can see here we're getting a bigger test sample than what we're getting over here of course i love how this is sporadic again i take a guess with the beans because of course just like the other one if you hit that little button up there where the wheat is it turns it to beans again same process you kind of put it down and let it go and of course it is straight just like the other one so we'll get out take a little look at the job it's doing so this does look like this is an issue with these okay so this is something that's interesting but you can kind of just take a look and see what it does but let's go ahead and get into a look into the details about the land off the land off requires 150 horsepower goes 10 mile an hour holds 100 bushels of seed and it only has a price tag of $145,000. Now onto your corn planter. We'll go ahead and hit this little button right here, which is your unfold button. This is a multi-step one. You unfold it. Once it's unfold, you hit lower, then you drive forward and you are planting your corn, getting it put into the ground. Now this is a little bit of a fact for you. If you plant something wrong, you can plant over it, um, but you will be destroying your other crop that was already there. So that's just some information you need to know. So if you're doing a two crops in one field situation, be careful. Now, of course, it's got to look at the job it's doing. This is the, of course, KSH 955, and it's doing an amazing job keeping the rows as straight as they can. All right, now let's get up back up in here. And let's see what she's capable of. 
Now, if you hit your little button up here where the corn is, it will change it to beans with the same process. And now you're planting your beans. Again, you can't really see the beans too well. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but of course, you can still see the beans have been planted. So in my opinion, this is a massive success for both of these. Let's get into the details about the case planter. Now, in my opinion, this planter right here is the most underrated piece of equipment in the game. You start with it no matter what you do. It's actually a really decent size. I've seen games give you smaller. Personally, one of my favorites. But this thing requires 80 horsepower, goes 6 miles an hour, holds 50 bushels of seed, and has a price tag of $22,000. You start with this base game, I really wouldn't worry about trying to buy another one. Um, unless you want to upgrade and buy like two planters or run two planters on their fields, I would recommend it for that. Now on to the behemoth. We have here the Case IH planter. Let's go ahead and get up in here and show you how she works. Now you can of course get up here. You can hit this little button right here that unfolds it. Hit the wrong button there for a second. Once you unfold it, then you hit the button next to it, lower it, and then you're planting. And if I can say you're planting, you are planting by mile. This thing right here can most likely do most of the starting fields with like three passes. Let's get out and look at the job she's doing. Again, nice, perfect, straight rows. If anybody's going to ask for anything, this is what they'd ask for. I love it, personally. Again, 3D model out the world, in my opinion. I love it. Now, let's go ahead and get back up in her, and let's look at what else she's capable of. Now, if you hit this little button up here where the corn is, it will turn into soybeans. And as we've seen before, she'll plant the soybeans. So that's just, this is some information you might want to know, is no matter what planter you're using, you will always be able to do soybeans. You do not start with the availability to do soybeans, technically, because you don't start with that header at the beginning you need to make an extra 20,000 on top of the 30 you have but of course your beans part planted here looking all nice and pretty and of course your final details of the day this is a 36 row planter with 30 inch spacings it requires 300 horsepower goes 10 miles an hour it only holds 120 bushels of seed with a price tag of $250,000 so all in all ladies and gentlemen I say you're coming out on head all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Connor here. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know anything about this game and you don't know it yet, please leave a comment down below. I would love to make a video about it for you. Or maybe I've made a video about it. But with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all so very much. For me, the entire team here, thank y'all so very much. We'll see you next time. Peace!